Hello, this is Ness Tilson here, and in this little video, I'd like to give an overview of how to use uh, hardware libraries. Now, hardware is in Polyboard is um, well, Polyboard does not uh, display hardware on the actual model, but what we can do is we can display all the machining that is necessary to put the hardware onto the onto the, the furniture, and we can give a price to this hardware, but it doesn't actually draw the hardware itself. Um, hardware. Uh, is in fact uh, anything we're going to add to the boards, the panels that we were joining together to make a bit of furniture. So this hardware includes, of course, dowels. Uh, if you're using domino, you can use domino, um, as well as any metallic fittings, which is really for the hardware. Um, hardware can be st stocked in uh, in in libraries, so we can create a, a, li a hardware library. And so let's go into Polyboard and see how, how this works. Let's just take off this, this kitchen that I've made here and take off the project and start with a new, a clean new screen. Um, the, let's, let's make a new cabinet and we'll see, the, see how to apply hardware to this cabinet and how to create a library and how this works. So here we just have a simple cabinet we have a simple cabinet which is, is a fairly big cabinet um, if we look at this cabinet in 3d we can see that if we look at an x-ray view that everything is butt jointed there is no particular hardware on this cabinet as a default but to make hardware uh, we can go into the libraries menu and we click on what we call here fittings fittings being oh, let's say being hardware um, we can define um, uh, a fittings or hardware uh, library, and here we have a whole load of different things that are already in the hardware library. I can just click on one to give you an example of what it is. For instance, if I say a hinge, which is a uh, hittish hinge, and we can see in this example view what the actual machining is for this hinge. We can see that there, when two boards join together, the hinge, there are certain holes that have been drilled in each board to allow the positioning of the hinge. We could say, for instance, um, an eccentric. Here we have a cam, uh, a cam hardware fitting with two holes drilled to assemble the two boards with a cam. Um, how do we do this exactly? Let's uh, let's just go into the basic. Uh, um, let's go into basic um, um, making hardware fitting, and th that will show you exactly how it ha how it works. For instance, let's take let's take exactly we'll add a fitting to this, and let's call this fitting a demo zero one fitting. Just call it any name a demo zero one fitting. Then we can here give the hardware price. For instance, if for instance, if I'm going to use a domino, and this domino is going to have a certain price, oh, I'm going to say this price of the domino is in fact, uh, say, 20 cents. Um, the tooling price is the price which is going to cost me to machine this, uh, this uh, hardware, uh, this assembly detail in, in, in hardware. The tooling price is going to be, for instance, let's give it a 15 cents. And the reference axis, we can either reference this, uh, the position of this machining, either from the inside or the outside, or this domino. Let's say we want to put a domino on the edge of this board and um, on the face, inside face of this board. So we will say it's centered. We're going to center the domino on the board. Now, this now we can start adding machining details to this particular hardware fitting. Let's add a machining detail. The first machining detail that we want to do, we're going to put it um, on what they call the under what polyboard calls underpassing board. Well, in, the, in an assembly detail, we have in fact an overpassing board and an underpassing board. One's overlapping the other. 
We take first, let's take first the machining on the underpassing board. Let's say that we want it to be on the edge of this board. Let's say that we want it not to be what they call a drilling hole, but a groove, because we want to put a domino in. And the width of this groove being the width of our domino, let's say it's six millimeters. The length of it being the length of our domino, let's say, uh, I don't know how long a domino is, I think it must be about 40 millimeters. And the depth, let's say that the depth is around about uh, 25 mil. And let's keep uh, the XY position in place. As we, para as we add the parameters, we can see a graphical uh, display of the actual, what we're actually doing. We're actually machining, in fact, a mortise here on the edge. That's fine. This, this particular board, I want it to be machined with this mortise. Let's add another bit of machining. And this time, the machining is the opposite uh, on, on the other board. So it's not on the underpassing board anymore, it's on the overpassing board. On the overpassing board, we want it on the inside face. We still want it to be a groove. We want the width to be exactly the same, which is 6mm. And the length to be exactly the same, which is 40mm. And we want the depth, but this time the depth, we don't want it to be 25 like it was on the edge of this board, but we just want it to, we don't want it to go through the board as we're often using, we're using 19 millimeter boards. Let's say we just want it to be, say, 15 millimeters deep. And that, and, and now we see that we have here the graphical representation of the two mortises that will be machined to uh, assemble these boards. Let's just add two more details to this particular um, assembly detail. This, this fittings. This is a, this is a domino. Let's add, for instance, a hole. We're going to add a pilot hole so that we can drill two screws either side of the domino. And this is a particular type of assembly detail we want to use. So if we want, in this case, we want on the on the over on the overpassing board the overlap board on the inside face why not we want to drill a hole uh, of four millimeters in diameter we want this hole to go through uh, and we don't want it centered on the on the board or on the assembly detail it's not on the board but we want it on a we want to push it across the board and we want it to push it across on the other side of the domino so the domino is, is four so it's going to be 20, 20, 20, 20. Let's put it 30 millimeters on the other side. And here we can see that now we have a hole which is drilled 30 millimeters on the other side of the domino going through the board. Let's add another one. And we're doing exactly the same. Let's, um, on the overpassing board, the inside face would drill a hole of four millimeters, and but and uh, it goes through, and this time it will be minus thirty. That will be ten be on the other side here, and here we have the hole, one hole drilled here, one hole drilled here on this board. Now, what about putting a pilot hole? If, this, if we put a screw through this hole here, and we'll need a pilot hole to drill it to dr to uh, to drill into the screw into the edge of this board, and so the board doesn't split. Let's put a pilot hole in. It's getting a bit complicated, of course, but it doesn't really matter. This is the on the edge of the underpassing board. We will drill a three millimeter pilot hole, and it will have a depth of uh, say 25 mil with an exposition, the same exposition of 30. And now we have it here. Well, let's put it a bit diameter, let's put it a bit smaller, let's put it two millimeters. Two millimeter diameter hole, pilot hole here. One more on the other side, exactly the same on the edge. And it will be, let's say, two millimeters, pilot hole going to 25 mil with an exposition this time of minus 30. And here we have a second pilot hole. Now this is an assembly detail that I've made just very simply 
and we see it graphically as we build the assembly detail. And the assembly detail being made up of a sort of false tenon, a domino, uh, two side holes which are drilled through to put screws, and two pilot holes in the edge to stop the board splitting. Let's say this is fine. We call this demo 01, and we say that this particular assembly detail is fine. How do we put it onto a board? Here we have a board. Now, we can put one assembly detail onto this board, but um, in general, this assembly detail, um, I mean, in this bit of furniture, the assembly detail um, is associated in polyboard with an assembly rule. That is how is this assembly detail, this bit of hardware, distributed along a board, along an, uh, along an edge? Um, the way it's distributed, an assembly detail is therefore associated with what we call in polyboard a rule. Here we have the rules library. A rules library is simply how do we put how do we put the assembly detail, how do we put the hardware on the board? For instance, in this particular assembly detail, we could say that along a board, we don't want the assembly detail to be too near the edge. So we could say, let's add let's add the assembly detail, and we call this assembly detail, no, this is what they call a rule here, of how we place this assembly detail. Let's call it as well demo 01, just for the example. When we add demo 01, we can say that we can say the distance between each bit of hardware or each assembly uh, fixing. We can give it a distance that is between, for instance, our dominoes. So let's say that between dominoes we have at least 200 millimeters. Let's say that um, the beginning of the um, the beginning or near the first left edge. Let's just say it has to be offset um, at least 80 millimeters. But on the right side of the board, you can see here, 80 millimeters here. On the right side of the board, we'll put, we want 100 for some reason. Uh, doesn't really matter. Let's put 100 there. I say OK. Now, let's Let's put this assembly, the assembly detail we made in the fixing, fixing library together with the way we want it to be spaced out on the board edge, and let's put it on this cabinet. Let's put it here, for instance. Let's say, let's, let's select the sign, and then let's say with the top fittings links here, in this option here, left side with the top. We want to add a fittings links, and the fitting that we want is the one that we've just made, which is called demo one. And the rule which associates it with this is also called demo one. And let's say OK. And let's have a look in 3D. Now in 3D we can see that the assembly detail we have just made is actually distributed along the edge of the board with 80 millimeters from the axis from the front and 100 millimeters from the back here. We have the dominoes with the two pilot holes that are distributed along the board. This is great, we've just put that as an assembly detail on that particular edge. There's another thing that we can do, we can use uh, a global library application, a global um, what they call manufacturing method, that defines that when two boards meet that that will always have this fitting detail with this rule. So let's put in, let's go, let's let's do this on this bit of furniture. Let's use a manufacturing method and just take a sub method which is called a fittings links method. Huh? How we distribute the fittings or the bits of hardware along this particular project. Let's say that we want this time, uh, let's say the overlapping panels or the overpassing panels everything that's sides, all the sides, that c that fit to the top and the bottom, and we want the fittings link, we want the fitting demo 1, and we want to use the rule demo 1, and I want to say on all these panels, whatever, and I click OK, and I apply it to this cabinet, and now we can see that wherever the side 
fits the top and the bottom we have applied exactly the same rule and we have the new fitting has been distributed along the edge okay this is interesting let's have a look at what polyboard does if we say let's have a look at a side by itself here we have a side And here we have in 3D the machining, the two holes that go through, and the mortise for the domino. And if we have a look at the top, let's select the 3D view of the top. And the top we have here the mortise on the edge with the two pilot holes for the screw. And so there we have it. Very neat, eh? And this is now a manufacturing method that we can apply to any bit of furniture. So we just say, for instance, this bit of furniture, let's re, you know, see how supple this is. For instance, this bit of furniture is got an overall size of 600 millimeters, depth of 600 millimeters. But let's make it twice that. Let's make it 120 uh, centimeters wide. Huh? 120 centimeters wide. Uh, of course, the width is, is this is more importance for this particular because it's along along the depth of this side. Well, let's just make it 100, a thousand, a thousand mil, and the height will make up the height something simple, simple as well. Uh, one meter high. Well, if we look at this in 3D. We can see that the fittings they've added his ad, fittings have been re-added because the rule definition has stayed the same distance from each edge and they've been spaced out at um, the distance that we we said in the rule and they've added fittings to this particular box so you see the with this method this uh, fittings method will be applied to any bit of furniture that we can build instantly and adapted. Thank you very much for looking at this little video and I hope it's been of interest to you and and I hope it's shown you how powerful these um, the, the libraries, the manufacturing methods libraries can be for making furniture really quickly. Goodbye, thank you.